Hi friends, welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I will show you how to fit up weld neck flanges on both ends of a concentric reducer. Let us make some tools first. Make a jack bolt, the plate thickness is 20 millimeters. The bolt size is 3 quarters inch and the length is 3 inches. Tack weld the bolt with the L as shown. A gap rod. The diameter shall be according to the root gap. Let us mark the center lines of both the flanges. Draw tangential lines on two adjacent holes, the intersection of these lines is the center of the two holes. Repeat this method on the opposite side holes. Draw lines on the flange face, centering these two intersections. Never forget to punch mark the center lines when you fit up flanges on a concentric reducer. Transfer these center lines on the circular face also. Put the flange on a clean, leveled plate or a platform. Transfer the center lines on the back side of the flange. Put the gap rod on the bevel side of the flange. Put the reducer carefully on the gap rods on the flange. Tack weld the jack bolts on the reducer, roughly 90 degree apart. Tight the jack bolts until the reducer axis and flange axis are in line. Now, tack weld the flange with the reducer, in opposite side sequence, like 0 to 180, then 90 to 270 degree. Put the smaller flange on its position, roughly matching the center lines of both flanges. Put a straight edge or a rectangular box on the top of the small flange with one edge exactly on the center line. Check the plumb of both top and bottom center lines. If the reducer is small in size you can make this alignment with two large right angles. Now, check the other sides. If the alignments are within an acceptable limit, check the height. I suggest you check the height from face to face of the flange. Complete the tack welds and remove the attachments. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.